Hi, and thanks again for joining me on another episode of Sealed for Good. You might recall last year we spoke about waterproofing over and under screeds. And early last year, I had an episode where we went through the evolution of puddle flanges and leak control systems on wet area floors. Well, the discussion that we had on the over and under the screed, we had a customer that had sent an inquiry through on our Instagram page, which made a lot of sense and it was a real um, sensible inquiry which comes up almost daily out in the market and I thought I might address that because many of you would come across this scenario and it may or may be overlooked particularly from the building phase so let's just go back a piece the inquiry that came through had asked that if you've got an over and under uh, membrane on a screed sorry membrane under the screed and over the screed if the top membrane fails and you've sealed the top membrane to integrate to the base membrane, where does the water go in the mortar bed? So that scenario, let's look at it this way. We have a wet area floor, whether it be internal or external. Membrane compliant, this is rebate into the floor. Membrane comes down, turns into the puddle flange. We then have our screed that's applied on top. And as a secondary layer, which is very popular now with many of our designer friends, is they are waterproofing on top of that screed. And so then when the membrane is applied to the top screed, it is often that you'll find the waterproofer will bring it down and coat the internal face of the screed and integrate it onto the membrane that's finished inside the flange itself. That is really important that you get this piece right because what's happening now is that in the event that I have a, a membrane that is uh, a waterproofing system that's waterproof that way, I am going to then, if, if the top membrane fails, I'm going to trap the moisture in the mortar bed and it can't go anywhere. I've membraned the face of the screed and the base membrane is sealed to that. So the leak control flange on the base is not working now in the event that that screed has been waterproofed in that way. So what is the critical step there? How do you overcome that? Well, we see two things that you need to do. Firstly, you need to look at the scenario of a puddle flange should be for both membrane systems. So the base membrane should have its flange in, as I've mentioned earlier. On the floor, membrane finishes inside. The screed comes on top and is laid without any waterproofing going on the edge of the screed. And then a riser or another paddle flange needs to be incorporated into the top membrane system okay so in the event so that membrane is there floor grate goes in there that's the finished membrane with the tiles water gets drained into that leak control system in the event that the waterproof membrane on the top layer fails and water is then going into that mortar bed below that would hit the base membrane and can still work into that leak control flange as you can see here if you have the screed waterproofed around the edge, then what you're going to do is go back to what I mentioned months ago when we showed the evolution of flanges, that you're going to just trap moisture around that base layer and the water can't go anywhere and the screed's just going to absorb a whole lot of water. So very, very important. If you are going with the method of over and under a screed, a puddle flange needs to be used with both systems. It's a critical one. At the same time, we've had a scenario that was brought to our attention where a waterproofer thought they were doing the right thing pipe coming through the floor, waterproof the base because they waterproof the substrate, sealed around that pipe, pipe comes up, the flange is incorporated into the top membrane layer with a floor grate. That's all good, but the same thing. If that top membrane fails, the membrane is going to hit the base membrane. It might not go into the floor below, but it's just going to build up in that bed because it can't drain out anywhere. So. It is critical that puddle flanges or leak control systems are used when you have the method of over and under a screed on both surfaces. Very, very important. If not, you do run the risk of situations where you are going to have moisture building up in that mortar bed. Now, every waterproofer waterproofs their, uh, waterproofs their substrate to ensure that there is no failure, but the reason of over and under is for the extra security, so you must make sure that it's not just a matter of putting the membrane on both surfaces, but your full system works in that way in that application. 
I'm sure you may have a few other scenarios that have come up or you've got other questions because we are seeing uh, all types of uh, technologies bro being brought into the market now where screen alternatives are being used. How do they incorporate this situation? You need to ask that question, you need to work through that. But this is an important one because as I said, particularly for external wet areas, we see over and under very, very popular in the, in the building domain now. A lot of designers are asking for it. We call up the standards, AS4858, AS3740 with a fixing standard for membranes. However, this piece needs to be addressed. It's a common sense one. If we don't get that right, we are going to end up with floors or surfaces that are waterproofed, but screeds that are going to absorb moisture and they're going to create a lot of issues with tile beds and floor finishes. So pay attention to that one. I am very, very keen for any of you to get involved in the discussion on this because if you have seen it out there or you've done it a different way, bring it to our attention. It is very important that these sorts of things, these are the little one percenters I call out in the market that need to, get, to be got right. Otherwise, all the good efforts you think you got with people paying almost a double system for over and under go to waste. So please engage in the discussion on this one. Shoot some photos through. Send some more... Um, dialogue through either on our Instagram page as that inquiry had come through or our Facebook page and subscribe to Sealed for Good. Looking forward to more discussion on this one and other uh, debates in the future. I'll see you on the next episode guys. Thank you very much.